All right, guys, we've got a 2008 Big Dog Pitbull Chopper motorcycle for sale. Now this particular bike is equipped with the gloss black base paint job. And then you've got some feather uh, airbrushing as well as uh, some purple pinstriping as well. Definitely a very, very good looking and attractive uh, paint scheme. Now in 2008, Big Dog equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 117 cubic inch, 1916 cc SNS V-twin motor. You've also got a six speed Baker transmission. Uh, they also equipped the bikes with the right side balance drive. And then they also equipped the bikes with PM disc brakes. They definitely didn't spare any expenses while they were building these bikes. Definitely did a, a great job. Now up front, you've got a 23 inch rim. And then in the rear, you've got a 20 inch rim with a 280 series uh, tire mounted on it. Definitely gives you that classic chopper look. The bike is also equipped with diamond cut jugs. Um, you've got the custom spring seat. This is an aftermarket seat or at least reupholstered. Uh, the previous owner also put different springs on the seat to absorb the different bumps and various things in the road to make it a little bit more comfortable. I know the original springs they put on these bikes were uh, wheelchair springs. It would take quite a bit to have them compress. So um, these upgraded springs definitely give the bike a more comfortable ride. Um, definitely recommend them. So um, you've also got, uh, they look like they're Eddie Trota short pipes or drag pipes. Definitely give the bike a very, very great sound and also a great look aesthetically. Now this particular bike has been rewired to eliminate the electronic harness controller that Big Dog equipped these bikes with. That was one of their downfalls. Um, and so you're not gonna have to deal with any electrical issues. Uh, one thing that was done while that was rewired is um, you no longer have turn signals. You have running lights and brake lights and you have a high and low beam. And so actually all the original hand controls do not function. Um, you've got other areas where you can start the bike and turn the, the high and low beams on. And then obviously the running lights are on consistently, um, so on and so forth. So. You've also got a aftermarket headlight on this. Um, the individual who owned this before uh, wanted to put on a fairing. And so this bike does come with a fairing. I just thought it looked better uh, without it on. Um, but it's definitely nice to have if you're going to be out doing some road trips. That's what these brackets are for right here. And also on the other side right there. Um, so that will come with the bike. One thing to note is that fairing has... Uh, rubbed on that headlight. So you've got a rub mark, rub, rub mark approximately three inches long. If you can see that right there. There's that aftermarket speedometer. Um, it currently reads 5,051 miles. Um, I know that can't be correct mileage on the bike. Um, so just keep in mind that we don't know the exact mileage on the bike. Um, the, the title does read actual mileage um, that way you can still get alone on the bike and not have any issues there now this bike has been ridden um, it's not in perfect shape it is a decent bike um, i'd rate it right out of a eight out of a ten um, this rear fender whoever has owned it before uh, modified uh, the struts back here to be able to put something on the fender like a, a travel bag so on and so forth um, he had it repainted, uh, but it's, it's got some orange peel to it. It could definitely be resprayed and 
have a better job done. I uh, just want to point that out. Rear tire is in really good shape. I'd say you have approximately 75% of tread remaining uh, left on the tire. So it's definitely a good thing. Definitely a newer tire. Polished aluminum could use some elbow grease uh, to look perfect. Um, there's some scratches on this pulley back here. Um, you know, nothing you wouldn't expect on a bike that is eight years old and that has been ridden. I am guessing it probably has about 20 to 30,000 miles on it. I know that's kind of a, a wide range, um, but the bike runs great. In fact, I took it out on a about a 40 mile ride last week and rode and ran awesome. So, gas tank is in great shape. There's a few minor blemishes, um, but actually relatively in, in really good shape. <laughs> Engine's in good shape. Could use a little bit, a bit of elbow grease to look perfect. Rider pegs are an aftermarket peg. Um, can tell they've had a little bit of use, but they're in relatively good shape. These are aftermarket uh, handlebars to facilitate that uh, windshield fairing. Um, you can see they don't meet up perfectly with the hand controls, but. Um, not not bad, not great, but not bad. Aftermarket hand grips. <laughs> but definitely a, a decent bike for the money, that's for sure. Front wheel's in decent shape. Again, the polished aluminum could use some elbow grease to look perfect. Front fender's in relatively good shape, a few minor blemishes. Front tire is a little bit more worn than the rear tire. I'd say the front tire has approximately 35% of tread remaining. Um, it is wearing a little uneven up here and that could be due to air pressure. Discs show some wear. Um, same with the Actual brake assembly could use a little bit of polishing and elbow grease. You do have a chip in the paint from the mount on the uh, windshield right there. That could be repaired uh, quite easily actually. I just want to point that out. Rider pegs over here in relatively good shape. Primary covers in good shape. Again, the whole bike could use a little bit of elbow grease. If you polished it up, it would actually look really, really nice. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up for you. There's your ignition key. Here's your low and high beam switch right here. 
And then your starter button is just right back here under the seat. All right, so there you have it. Definitely shows the bike runs extremely well. Rides even better. Definitely a really fun bike to ride. If you have any other questions, definitely don't hesitate to either give me a phone call or shoot me an email. I'd love to address any of your questions or concerns. Um, another great way to track my inventory is to subscribe to me on YouTube. Um, another way to track my inventory is to go to my direct website, which is www dot utah chopper dot com definitely appreciate your time and i also look forward to the possibility of working with you thank you so much